Welcome everyone. Here we are. Back with Momodora. We are in the final area. Um, and let's see how this goes. There's still a lot of the map we never explored. So I might end up warping away um, to try and complete some stuff uh, before then. But yeah, we'll see. One of these paintings is bad. What VOD were you even watching? I'm curious now. A few minutes. Not that early. I realized, like, I normally stay in the starting soon screen for way too long. So I'm waiting for the bot to post the link in Discord. It posted it in seconds. I was like, what the fuck? Why can't you do that consistently? So because it got posted, I just kind of went, all right, I guess let's do it. All right, we gotta wait for this guy to disappear to the right because there's a secret area. And now... Very sneaky. I actually appreciate that uh, enemies will enter secret areas to show you that they're there. That's a really good game design. These fucking birds are gonna get on my nerves so quick. Because if they hit me, I die. Well, one can hit me. Um, I actually have enough health to survive one attack. But God, they're annoying. Let's head this way first. Oh. Yeah, let's deal with this. So if I stand here, I can become human, and then I can do this. Oh, come on! I, like, did not hit him at all. That's okay. That should be enough damage to where one arrow will kill him. So hold on. Okay. Okay. Can this thing die? I don't remember. Oh, it sure can. All right, there we go. Secret collected. Oh shit, I forgot there was someone on the other side of that. All right, we gotta take care of him first before we get the third one. Yes, we dropped him down. That's important. Yes, we got all three. Now we become cat. Pretty sure this is just a health pickup, but still. So worth it. Jump. Damn it, I can't hit them from here. Fuck you, bat. Right, let's head down. Yeah, I think this is where we're supposed to go. 
Yeah, this is where the game gets annoying. As if it wasn't already annoying as hell. Oh, this is where it gets tougher. Thankfully, with our fire arrows, we really fuck shit up. Why can I... Okay, I don't know why I can jump down there. doesn't matter. Oh my god, I can't hit him from here. Oh, that's annoying. There we go. I remember the map correctly. This is going to lead us to a checkpoint. The question is, is am I remembering it correctly or not? Black Satchel. What does that do? Heavily increases your attack power at the risk of losing HP. That's fun. We're going to replace the Necklace of Sacrifice with that. Because I don't know that the Necklace of Sacrifice has actually been active. So, yeah, I'm down for replacing it. Yeah, the first time I saw the voxel effect when we lived with, like, three health, I realized, oh, this thing hasn't been active. So now we should theoretically been doing more... We should theoretically do more damage. Uh, let's see. Yep. Just to be safe. I'm sure the autosave worked, but I'm... very annoyed. All right. Nope. It's going to be really interesting when I do the next run of this game. See how that goes. Damn it. All right. 250. To a common ass enemy too. Also, welcome Nova. I forgot to say hi. I'm super focused today. I really want to get to the final boss. Wait, why did, when did I take damage? Hmm. Oh, we one-hit these guys now. I like that. That's satisfying. That's what that means. Oh. Back to the Necklace of Sacrifice, then. I thought it meant we took more damage. I see now I was wrong. I guess we're going down because I fell. Oh, this is going to suck. All right, we made it. Damn, that item is going to be amazing on easy. 
because we can take a shit ton of damage. On insane though, it's basically useless. Ah! Uh, it probably would. Like, if, if it was used in a boss fight, I bet it would count. Alright, that was sloppy of me. You know what? We're 90% sure this doesn't work. But we don't have anything better. What do you sell again? And then there's pocket and sensory, but I don't that won't that wouldn't stack, so let's buy that instead. Because we use arrows so much. Oh yeah, those basically immediately hit. That's cool. I thought three did it, but apparently it's four. Whoops. We need to rebuy the thing. The hardest part of the next run is gonna be having no shop items. We're gonna have to perf... We're going to have to perfect bosses. At least a couple of them. We won't have to do all of them like we have to here, but there's definitely a few we need to. The thing is, is I'm probably going to want to get the poison arrows from Centipede Girl. But we can't restart runs without save scumming. And I'm unsure how much save scumming I'm planning on doing. I haven't decided yet. I'm st it's still up in the air. Because theoretically, you can do beat the game without dying, and every time you die, you can just quit to main menu instead of retry, and it'll count. which makes it basically unlimited tries. But I was wondering if I was going to forbid myself from that and have to do it, you know. If I die, I quit the game and make a new save. I think once I beat uh, insane mode, I'll probably make a pulp for that to see what people want to see. Because on one hand, the challenge sounds really fun. On the other hand, I'm worried if restarting every death is going to get annoying, especially if it's the end of the game. And it's like, all right, we have to restart our six hour playthrough. Like, thankfully on easy, it should be a pretty short playthrough. I think you can beat the game in four hours. But depending on how many times we reset, who knows? But you get like health regen items and stuff. Oh, thank you, Yang. I appreciate the raid. Welcome. How did your art stream go? Did you finish that drawing? Because it was looking so good. Thank you for the shout out tech. I appreciate you being on top of it. Well, welcome everyone. We are playing Momodora Insane Mode. Basically one hit and I die. Which is why we have the death counter up top. 
All right, these portraits are getting on my nerves. This is my favorite Metroidvania in the world. I own the physical copy sealed, like the physical collector's copy sealed. I am that much of a fan of this game. I mean, I'm definitely not a bot for sex, but I am a robot. But yeah, this game, mm, chef's kiss. And this right here is the final area, so this is where it's toughest. Lots of traps. Lots of secret enemies, like these fucking paintings. But yeah, if you have not played this, highly recommend. Um, regardless of what difficulty you play on, it's a great time. I just like to punish myself. All right. Before we head into the next room... Um, let me check out the equipment. Yeah, don't worry. We're pretty far from a, a boss fight. So there shouldn't be too much, but yeah, there, there's like three chunks of dialogue stuff at the beginning, middle, and then all the end stuff. And the end stuff is a lot. Right, sparse thread won't work. Taintive missive won't work. We're not going to have time for Bachman patch. Okay. We'll take this. Yes! We got the stun off. Oh, thank God. Okay, so now if I remember correctly. If we head down and this way. We unlock the door. Oh, thank God. I am so glad to be here in the save. The issue is we can't go back up. There is an item up there that we would theoretically want, but we don't need, so. We need, yep, we gotta go around. It's been a couple of years, so I'm not, I don't have the map memorized. just know a decent bit. Uh, let's see if this reaches. It did. All right, now for the platforming section. Open, and up we go, and this way. Now that's opened. So now we can go save. Because I am terrified of going further, dying, and having to do all that again. We've died enough in this playthrough. There we go. Save, resets items. But yeah, since I'm so far into the game, if you guys do have any questions of what the fuck's going on, let me know. The only thing I can't remember is character names. Oh, I can just slap the shit out of those guys. Oh, well, that makes it easier. Pop idol? Oh, which one's the pop idol? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, now we're entering spoiler territory. So if you guys don't want to be spoiled of the end of this five, six-year-old game, uh, leave now. <laughs> Feel free to watch my VODs, though, if you're not planning on doing anything. So you are the one who engaged with Fennel. Turn back now, foreigner. Her Highness does not want to be disturbed. 
such impudence. Magnolia. All right, here is the pre-boss fight. I can't hit you with arrows? Oh, that's right. You're a melee boss only. Oh, this is gonna suck. We already got hit, so we should probably die so we get her secret item. But I'm gonna learn the attack patterns real quick. Okay, so when you jump, you just do a range, so we need to stand under you. Cool. Easy enough. Well, time to head back. <laughs> we took a single hit of damage. Time to go save and regain all that health. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be tough, not being able to use arrows. I'm trying to remember what phase two of this boss fight is. Because I know once you kill... The bottom girl, you have to fight Magnolia. Is it? What is it? So I don't care if it's spoiled. I'm gonna get it regardless. Heavy air. Oh, we need that for the final boss. This is actually the only boss that's immune to bullshit. Annoyingly. All right. meds. Damn it. All right. Well, let's let her kill us and see how much damage we can break out in a series of hits. We can do pretty good damage to her. We just need to get better at rolling. A roll for them iframes. This game does give me Dark Souls vibes, even though I've never played Dark Souls. But that's a future stream. Nuh uh, not hit me today. I wonder if the Baku blocks can hit Magnolia. Hmm. We might have to test that if we get hit. But ideally, let's not get hit. Well, we already got hit. So let's go test that theory. And she moved. Holy shit. Baku blocks deal a shit ton of damage to her. All right, come on. Her hit killed me, so I couldn't test it. That's fine. I think I found the new strategy on accident. <laughs> I think popping Baku blocks at the beginning of the fight is going to be really good. Oh, I accidentally hit the egg sack in front of me. Instead of the the enemy in the distance. Thank God I don't have poison arrows on for this boss fight. Because I would have killed myself, or for this area, I would have killed myself so much with the little eggs on the ground that you can hit. Yeah, I'm gonna pop the berry and then immediately just drop a shit ton of blocks and keep my distance and just pray that I can get the blocks off before she can do her 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 reach. Holy shit. Did y'all see that?
All right, now we fight Magnolia. Oh. Thankfully, Magnolia, we can just arrow to death. That really did make phase one trivial, and since phase two is so easy, it's not a big deal. I know you're kind. <laughs> Just like the partner, you stand against our queen. Blinded by faith. The queen would never hurt us. Uh, weapon of Magnolia, captain of the Archery of Karst. Raised in the woods, she joined Karst's Order of Knights and partnered with the loyal Lupiar. Damn. Well, I am happy for getting this item. Now let's head back and save because the next area we enter is... Y'all. Gotta do that fight again. I gotta do that fight again. Cause I walked into some fucking spikes. Ah! Ah! All right, hold on. I'm just pulling something up on my phone here. All right, cool. Oh, time to do this boss again. So normally when you fire arrows, it takes some time to travel from one end of the screen to the eye, eye, other. With quick arrows, you can see an arrow doesn't even show up because it immediately hits its destination. See? So quick arrows just make... Uh, rapid fire way easier, which is why the second phase of that boss was a joke. All right, bitch. That's on me. I didn't dash. Normally, I see quick arrows as a useless item, but combined with the fire stun damage bullshit, it's pretty dumb. Just gotta do the same thing as before. She dodged it. Oh my god, that did not work as well this time. Oh, and we took damage. Alright, let's just let her kill us. Alright. 
Man, not being able to kill the enemies on my next run is gonna be so fucking tough. Thankfully, we can get hit a lot, though. As long as we're not fighting bosses. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Damning Y, so I can get this off ASAP. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yes, okay. Not as much damage as I would have liked, but still enough. Damn it, we. Magnolia got us with the arrows. I think that first fight was a, was a fluke. Unfortunately. I really wish <laughs> we could get that nailed again, but I don't know. That seemed really lucky. We got this. We can do it. We can do it. Perfect start. Perfect mid-ground. Looking good, looking good. Take two little hits. That was close. I'm afraid of the arrows. Yep, there they are. Just little hits here and there. We'll, we'll, we'll just, you know. Slow and steady wins the race. Because she does not get stun locked as easily as the other bosses do. She can get herself out of a stun lock quickly. Oh, right at the end of her phase. All right, take us out. Oh, that was so close. I can't believe we fell on the spike trap, too. Like, out of all of the fucking ways to die, I did not expect that to happen. Mm. All right. I should get a commission of snow dressed as Kaho. That'd be cute as hell. Little hood and bow and arrow. Heck yeah. Maybe after I pay bills, I'll see how much I got left over. <laughs> There's still some more stream assets I need to buy for my debut. Or er, commission. Oh, this is going to be close. <laughs> Not as devastating. Damn it. That's all right. Real quick, tech, I'm going to DM you something. I need you to respond to it. 
that can turn Caps Lock out. That's right. Click back on the game so my controller works. I was like, why why aren't I moving? The worst thing about finishing this game or getting to the final boss is I don't know what the final boss looks like. I don't remember. It's been too long. Damn it. All right, that one went, but that's okay. Times the charm. Actually, I've lost count. I don't know how many times we've gone after this boss. I think we were at... I think it might have been 12 or so. We were a little over 250, I think. But I have no idea. It'd be interesting to go back through the VODs and see a, like a, a breakdown of which boss took the most health. Honestly, my money is on the first boss. I, th I think the centipede did the most damage to us. Because it's such a tough boss. Like, when you have no fucking items. All right, got her down to half. Better than nothing. Okay, stop that. Thank you. Damn it. Oh, she rolled into us. All right, just kill us. Come on. Oh, we gotta do this perfect. <clears throat> We've done every other boss so far perfectly. Get rid of you. All right, here we go. We got this. Walk forward. All right, that still did a decent bit. Okay, please stop that. Uh, fire your arrows, okay. Damn it. Hmm. 
man, that first one was so easy. Why the heck? The, the, the like, second try we did it, it was so clean. Now we're struggling with it. Ugh. You know what? I'm gonna kick myself if we're actually supposed to continue forward, because there's a save right after. I know some bosses you need to walk back, some bosses you need to walk forward. But I don't remember the map. It's been too long. Did you see my message, Tech? Yeah, I couldn't either. Nope, that, that summon took too long. Um, which is surprising. Oh, sorry. Up one on our death counter. It's in the first area. He also shows up in the cinder cabins or something like that. During the 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 boss in that area. Just can't remember for the life of me. different today. Alright, doing it different did not work out for us. Time to stick back to what we're familiar with. Damn it. Oh. Alright. I found it. Don't worry, tech. Uh, I'll explain it afterwards, but I found it. Which is the important part. what we love to see. The bow and arrow curl trip me up. was on me. I should have just used arrows. I was getting rushy and cocky and trying to use my, my leaf. Facing the wrong way. Stay there, stay there. Beautiful, we love to see it.
All right. Doesn't get much better than that. Just give up, Magnolia. Oh, damn it. Magnolia got us. No, it's not Curry. It's Kath. <clears throat> Here is the girl who we met underground in the jail cell. And we, uh... Well, we didn't free her. She was on her own. But we met up with her by the gates. Yeah, because this game's wiki sucks ass. <laughs> if you want to find out something about the actual plot, it's, like, not there for some reason. I don't know why. Like, only two of the areas are on the wiki. Everything else, it's like, good luck, lol. Steam forms to the rescue if you need help finding all the secrets to this game. Or er, steam, steam forms. That's what I meant to say. I think I said steam help. To change back. I have the wrong item equip. He's too far forward. But perfect on the second one. Calm down. We're doing good. Let's not rush it. Damn it. Rush it. All right. Kill me. I get too excited when she drops below like 20%. Ugh, that's my issue. Impatience is a bitch. And I am her slut. Yeah, they really hide it. Um, but no, she's about to come up in the story, and I wanted to remember her name, because I love her as a character. I just fucking suck at names. First half wasn't too good. Second half was perfect. I'll take it. Ascorn. Who would that be? I don't know that I recognize that as someone in the game. Not that I'm exactly perfect on this game's lore. But I know a decent bit, and I don't remember that being a name. Damn it, I missed the roll. Alright. Oh, him! That's right, yeah. I remember who you're talking about now. That's right, he does introduce himself. He really only says, like, three lines and that's it, though, so I don't remember him. Honestly, that's why I like the, the game that came out after this, Minoria, because it has more dialogue. Although, honestly, that game might be less forgiving than this one. It's like, in this game, all the enemy attacks are really well, um... You know they're coming. 
there it's never a damn it it's never a surprise in the other game it's like a different art style and sometimes the attacks take you off guard they very well could but getting her to stand still so that way it hits perfect while we cast the spell is going to be hard. It's it's a lot of luck on how much the, how much damage those are going to do to her. I don't remember who drops the Baku blocks. I think it's the first Lubella fight. So I basically use them every single game because that Lubella fight's easy peasy. Easily the easiest boss in the game. Stay there, stay there, stay there. We weren't far enough back. That's what we need to do. We need to back up first. I don't know if they could outright kill her. I mean, they could definitely do a good bit, but I don't know. I think it could get her down to like 10 max. Oh, that was close. Maybe. I just might have not have noticed. Honestly, when I get really into these boss fights, I don't... I stop looking at the health bar. Because all it does is it excites me, and it rushes me. I need to think they're at full health 24-7, or else I get antsy. Alright. First boss down. <laughs> All right, there we go. Second time killing these guys perfectly. I cast. I'm just gonna skip the dialogue. I already said it out loud. I cast. I, I I did my special special bow attack, and boy, did it fucking wreck her. Nope, not the black satchel. The heavy arrows. There we go. But yeah, see how the arrows actually move across the screen now? Please be a fucking save. Please be a fucking save. Okay, thank God there is. I should have just walked forward the other time. Unbelievable. All right, to the right is actually where we're supposed to go. So let's head down. Or wait, were we supposed to go right? Oh, maybe right's a dead end. Oh, hi, little spider guy. Okay, we're in the water. Okay, we got hit. That's fine. Who doesn't love water levels? Damn, these heavy arrows are nice. Also, the water in this game just looks so satisfying. The way everything's reflected, it's just, oh, yes. Damn it. I should have attacked. I got skittish. What's this way? Are we not allowed to go this way yet? Because the gate's not open? Yep, we got to open the gate. That's what it is. I think I'm just going to have to drop down and skip those enemies real quick. So that way they don't hit me. But it's nice to be in a new area.
We finally reached the castle. Look at all this money I have no use for. I don't even think there's a shop in this area. And all the items we w would want, we have bought. Damn it. Thought that jump would be high enough. Because yeah, every autumn item the bosses drop from you killing them perfectly um, is an item in the shop. So if you don't get it from killing them perfectly, you can buy it later on. Did I know that I'm playing Momodora? I did. Why? What happened? Did the game not update or something? Steam just... Oh! <laughs> Steam might be having issues again. That or I went offline for like half a second, but I didn't lose my stream connection because OBS has that like short outage protection. It does. All right, we're going to rush this fool. Yes, that was the correct option was to rush him. All right, now let's head this way. We'll talk to you in a bit. I want to open the gate and go save. Welcome to Car City. Ca car. Fuck. I can speak. I can read. All right. Welcome to Karst Castle, human. That black dress. A sacrifice. A sacrifice. A. I just can't read today. Actually, I, I take back what I said earlier about being able to read. A sacrifice maiden from Lun, I presume. Perhaps even your methods wouldn't be enough to save us. To truly purify this curse. Perhaps you would need a special blessing. Oh, hinting to the secret ending. Oh. Fuck you. Oh, God damn it. That's okay. We didn't die. <sighs> What's up again? Not fun. All right. Oh, can we not go this way yet? No, we can't. We gotta go back and then forward. I hope you all brought your tissues. Hi, Lucky. Welcome. I hope you brought your tissues, because it's about to get real sad. We just gotta get through this next little area. Oh, the spider nipped us. Stinky spider. Stinky, stinky spider. Lucky is absolutely adorable. Whatever uh, cheers you up. Lucky, you, 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 you can't deny that. I have seen your profile. It is adorable. All right. Corner. There we go.
I know there's a secret to the right using like invisible platforms and some shit. I'm not even gonna gamble with it. Fuck you. Nope, you're not even gonna mess with us today. All right. Oh, time for cat. We just run. We just run. There we go. We made it through. Didn't even get hit once. Just, just ignore my health bar. Fucking trap. Damn it. Oh, I forgot that was there. Oh, all right. Time to do that all. You know, some days it'd be like that. Some days it'd be like that, and that's okay. 277 just wasn't our number. <laughs> that's such an amazing threat. I'll bite your ankles. Oh. I was getting a little too antsy. I gotta wait now. Oh no, you sounded pretty afraid of wolf bites earlier. Hey, I wanna see someone get absolutely massacred? I'm just saying, yesterday you were complaining about a lot of wolf bites. Human time. Time. Human time. All right. Now we can actually get through this area like normal. Fuck the mage, though. We're going to just keep moving. So that way he doesn't hurt us. forgot to roll. That's okay. We lived. We lived, bitch. That's the most important part. Ah! What an asshole move. Placing that fucking spider there. Alright, we're doing it again, I guess. a drink because there's going to be some dialogue now. So for those of you who haven't been watching through all the parts, when we first got to Cath City, we met one of the few remaining knights of Karst named Cath. And uh, uh, she actually helped us fight um, one of the, the baddies and uh, announced that she was going after the queen, whether or not we were willing to help her. Even though we were willing to help her. Um, but she was going after the queen. And that's where Kath left off, as she ran off to try and fight the queen. Or figure out how to stop the queen. Um, 
Is this castle bigger than I remember? Maybe. I thought we were right there. come back right 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 I don't think those paths come back that's fine oh we gotta go down because we can't fall through that crack wait how are we supposed to get up Oh, do we just have to reset the area? Yeah, we just have to reset the area. Got it. Hmm. Interesting. How are we supposed to go over them? Am I missing something? Can we make this dash? Oh, I guess we can. Got it. Game just wanted to make sure we had the dash. Uh. That bomb fell right on our hand ahead. Well, now that we know that going down really isn't anything but health upgrade, well, I'm not even going to bother for it. I might if we're really struggling with the final boss, but I want to defeat um, the queen with uh, out getting hit. Because I think that would be such a good finish for this series. I know all the guides for insane mode are all like, here she is. Here's Kath. Ah. <laughs> Please. End my suffering. Now we have the Passiflora. Unfortunately, Math was not able to beat the queen. And her story ends there. And now... We are at the last area, the last section before the boss fight. I believe it's up and to the right, and then we will be there. But yeah. Just, oh, my heartstrings. You don't take arrow damage. Understood. All right, well, can you stop the firing so I can get over there? I forgot there was a mini boss before the, yeah, I'm sad too. I've, I've known that part was coming up and it's just, ugh. I didn't, I, it's the saddest part of the game. Now, this is a mini boss, though, so this shouldn't be too bad. Espresso. Depresso, espresso, indeed. 
Please have time. Please have time. Please have time. Yeah! I'm sure that fucked her up. Damn it. Wrong one. Oh. Now we're separated. Ooh. Shit. Oh, this boss fight's gonna be annoying. Or mini boss. But yeah, the fact that you have to like finish off Kath and put her out of her suffering just makes it so much worse. And the fact that she leaves you behind a flower, it's just like, oh, my gay heartstrings. If you don't have to, it's it's worse. Damn it. Right on my head. If you don't, it's worse. That that is the better of two options, significantly. Cuz uh I'll let you know she's dying either way. I I have done both options. And on easy mode, I'll probably do the other option just so y'all can see. Because, um... I haven't talked about it a lot. But once I beat the game on insane difficulty, we're going to be doing a... a no-death pacifist run. There we go. See, she wasn't that hard. It's just annoying. But yeah, so we'll be playing the game on easy, but if we die, we have to restart the entire game. Um, and we can't kill any common enemies. The only enemies we can kill are bosses. Oh gosh, Yang. Oh gosh, this is such a rough time for hydration. Where are you? Oh, you're up in the air. All right, there we go. Now I can hydrate. Grab my water bottle. And hydrate. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't kill me. That should have killed me, though. Oh, believe me, I got a bottle of water and my can of monster. Can of monster for when I'm not being forced to hydrate. Damn it. Oh, wait, did we not save after we killed her? Fuck, we didn't. Oh, damn it. That's right. We need to head backwards because it's a mini boss. All right. It'd be like that. I'm doing a real good job of fighting every fucking boss twice this game, this day. <laughs> yep, yep, disappear. I don't actually know this boss's deal. Like, she seems a little out of place. So I don't know why she's here. Because she doesn't look corrupted. It's not the craziest thing to compare this game to Bloodborne. <laughs> Although this game came out first, I believe. They came out pretty close to each other. Where are you, little fairy? Hope I picked right. I did. But she didn't really take much damage from it. Accidentally turned into a cat. I, no, I don't want to be a cat. I want the berry in my hand. Oh, god damn it.
All right. All right, let's do this. It might be better. Mm, no, I, th I think what we're doing is fine. You can technically like wait for her cue to know which one's the real her, so that way the bones don't come flying down. But I'm wondering if that's... I don't know if that's the better way to go. Or if just going for a fucking all-out assault is better. Gotta love bosses that have clones. Yeah, see, because I picked wrong, it sends this out. You can tell who the real one is because of the color they emit when they attack. If it's red, it's the real one. If it's white, it's not. Damn it. But yeah, then you run into the issue of there's a lot of them and there's a lot to dodge. Hmm. Maybe go strategic for the first half of the boss fight. Oh wait, I can't go backwards because of the gap. It's too big to jump. So we have to kill this one, go forward and hopefully make it to a safe spot. Or else we have to fight her every time we die. Her little squeaks are really cute though. YOLO. Damn it. Spell took too long. Oh. You know what? Uh, let's use the sparse thread. That actually might be better. Okay. I've always got Discord open. I do enjoy that. That is that is peak content. Not like you spawning on me. Damn it. Missed it. I missed the roll. You got this. You got this. Did it before. We can do it again. Yeah, see, that jump will not be possible going back. So you really do have to beat this boss and then move forward. Jeez. That was too close. Yep. Fuck it. Damn it. Welcome back, Lucky. Peanut butter bread? What is that? What is peanut butter bread? Is that like banana bread, but with peanut butter? It even work. Welcome back. We unfortunately died after killing this mini boss, so we're back at fighting her.
Oh, cool. We got her. Only she dropped something when she died, but unfortunately, mini bosses don't drop shit. Well, you know what we should do? There we go. Now she's not an issue. Uh, I think I need to be cat. Ooh, those are always good. I'm really basic. Usually my de my depression meal is just peanut butter and jelly. It's simple and it's easy. And most importantly, I don't need to use a fucking stove for it. Oh, that's right. This is an elevator. Oh, fuck. I forgot this part of the game. This is going to suck ass. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, no, no. I triggered the elevator. Now I'm stuck on it. At least going down's easier. But then we have to go back up. Ugh. God damn it. That's exactly... And then I get hit. This game, I swear to God. I love you, but oh, the end is so fucking tricky. I did indeed get fucking bamboozled. Baked apples. Baked apples sounds good. My issue is, is that, um, I can't use the stove or the oven when I'm in really bad mental health, uh, cause it triggers an anxiety attack. So any uh, depression meals need to be no cook. Although I can use my rice cooker. I'll often do that. Nice warm bowl of rice. A little bit of seasoning and butter. Here's open. Nope. That was wrong. Just fucking die. Nope. Oh, thank God she was right next to us. Oh, but we didn't get her. Damn it. I went the wrong way. Rice cooker pancakes? Ooh, that sounds interesting. Although I don't know if that would work with gluten-free pancakes. Those fuckers are a little different. Just as tasty, though. Alright, cool. We'll just roll right into that. Yeah, there's like a special pancake mix we gotta buy. Man, if only I could survive a hit from this boss, because then I could just keep going. Because this isn't a boss that needs to be perfect. Because there's no drop. Right that time. Damage at the chance of health loss passive. 
Um, that, that, yeah, if we have to do it again, I probably will. Um, but yeah, we got lucky. I was basically just kind of playing the odds. I figured one of these times it would work. All right, that's fine. That is an acceptable amount of damage loss. Sometimes the only way forward is to Gamba. Fuck you. All right, this time we are ready. We know we need to go to the right, not the fucking left. Ignore the goddamn skeleton. Damn it. I tried to... Ah, shit. I should have jumped instead of rolling. All right. That one's on me. Man, I felt really confident we would get to the final boss today, and I am feeling less and less confident as the time goes on. <laughs> what the fuck? We stunned him. Okay. Take a second. Stretch out. All right. What am I doing wrong? What is happening to me? Fuck you. And your family. I didn't realize there was already four. I thought there was three. That's on me. Honestly, that fairy kind of reminds me of, uh, what's her name? Uh, Cerno. Just a fucking shitty fairy chilling out here, just trying to make your life miserable. Not even strong enough to be considered a boss. We don't even know her name. Lost the bet. Hey, thank you for following, Natsumi. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. We're playing uh, Momodora. It's insane mode, so it's basically one hit death. Yeah, let's equip that. Um, we don't need heavy arrows, so we'll switch that out for Black Satchet. when you find the right one, all the others disappear. Damn it. Oh, we're almost at big three hundo. I really wish... I might try with like a Windows XP uh, machine, um, like a, you know, 
what do they call it? That's right, I forgot to switch it out again. I might try to get Momodora 1 and 2 working. And play through the series before Moonlit Farewell comes out. The issue with Momodora 1 through 3 is... Uh, they were made forever ago. They're honestly, like... They're old college projects, essentially. Um, so I was facing the wrong way. Oh, but it worked. They're, they're basically old college projects that the... That's not the button I meant to press. Cool. Um, that Arden made and then just continued because people had latched onto the story. Um... All right, that's 300. Uh. Oh, I had de-equipped it at that point. I don't see much point in healing when everything basically kills me anyway. Um, anyway. What was I saying? Yes, Momodora 1 through 3. Um, because they're so old, uh, there's no support for them. The developer has explicitly said they're not going to remake them. They're not going to make patches for them. They're completely free. Um, just, you know, good luck getting them running. But I love this game series. And being able to play through every last one is going to would be really awesome. This one is actually technically the first one because this one's a prequel. This happens before Momodora 1. This basically sets up the events of Momodoro 1. Cool, got her. All right, I will heal for you, Tech. There we go, we are healed. But yeah, when Moonlight Farewell comes out, I am planning on doing a huge stream to celebrate it because this is my favorite fucking game series. That was close. I don't know when it's supposed to come out, though. It got delayed. Ooh, you got some celebrations where you're at? Oh, you're almost at a hundo. That's awesome. Ah. <sighs> still don't understand how you haven't hit a hundo yet. Also, you need to make a fucking Twitter account so I can actually tag you and shit. Feels weird tagging everyone else except for you. Are you red or are you blue? You are white. From my experience, it takes like 24 hours for Twitch followers to actually update. Damn it. 302. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap this out for the bellflower. Um, that way it's in the hot bar. So that way, when you want me to heal, I won't forget. Because it'll already be equipped. Hey, you might hit a hundred on Saturday stream.
I gambled and I lost. Wow. What a bitch. That's fine. We got so many healing items because we don't actually need them. Heck yeah. No, that'll be awesome. I might have to pre-program some shoutouts so at the end of the stream I can just run them. Just like not note jot them down in a clipboard. I got really lucky with boss spawns there. I got really lucky. I don't actually know how that would work. Because, like, you can't do back to back shoutouts because there is a timer. And, like, integrating a delay in that command would be weird. I don't know. Put all the links in one message. Oh, yeah, I guess you could manually do it instead of using the SO command. Ooh, that was close. I got a little frisky and almost died. All right. We got full health. Okay, move to the side. Over. Double jump. Over. Oh, oh, thank God. Not exactly who I wanted to hit. You know what? Fuck it. Goodbye, little dork. Is that overkill? Apps of fucking lootly. Was it deserved? Apps of fucking lootly. It is time. I am 99% certain the boss is in the next room. Look. When a little shit is throwing bombs at you and you can't hit them with an arrow, sometimes you gotta just fucking snap them out of this world. How much does Tainted Missive use? Oh wait, we can't use it because then we will die. That's right. Or not die, but we won't get the, the bonus item. I don't even know if the final boss drops a bonus item. I don't think so. So we'll go in with Sparse Thread, Crystal Seed, Backman Patch, Pocket and Sensory, and Heavy Arrows. And that'll be our loadout. All right, we are at 303. Tech, do you want to make that, 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 uh, pole thing? I don't actually know how to make it. Of how many deaths? Because this is the final boss. While you work on making that. Here comes Storm. Never mind, we go straight into the fight. A cursed queen of Karst. I don't remember her attack patterns. Alright, that's one death. Equipment actually saved. It did. Good, good, good. All right, let's see if we have time to pop the um, Baku patch. Nope. 
We took damage. And it canceled our attack. Wait, can we not use this in here? Okay, no, we can. Although it did fuck all of damage, but we need to die now. Because we took damage. We can't take damage in a boss fight. It has to be flawless. Says I. Sadist. Uh-oh. Are we standing too close? Because I rolled. It's gonna be an issue. No, we're, we're good. Also, I believe there's, like, two phases to this boss fight. Before y'all are like, oh, this looks easy. Yeah, here comes the second part. There might be three, actually. Where am I supposed to fucking stand? I think I stand here? Yes. I just can't attack the boss. Damn it. All right, time for death. Tech, did you not hear me about the, the, the poll thing? The prediction thing? I don't know how to do it. You never taught me. All right, well, I think popping the berry and using arrows for the first fight is easy peasy. Of blasphemous. That rings a bell, but I don't know what it is. This game came out in 2010, by the way. It's a pretty dated game. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank God that didn't hurt me. Stop that with your bullshit. Get down here so I can smite you. Oh, I have no idea. I don't even know how they work, to be honest. You just did it last time, and I thought it was cool. <laughs> don't worry about it, though. I'll just have you teach me after the stream, or this weekend or something. Spanish Christian art inspired game has a lot of unique boss music. Oh, that's cool. I might have to take a look. Especially if it's a 2D game like this. The slash prediction. It's all really good with the info in. Okay, cool. I shall have to try that later. Yo, I'm always a fan of new 2D games, so. I will have to look that up. Alright, please just die and don't do your fucking stupid Z-Wave move thing. I don't know what to call it. The zigzag. Alright, cool. Phase one down. Phase two, here we go. What do these do again? Oh, that's right. This is the, the, the spiral. So we just stand here and wait. Okay, and then... Is that it? That's it! We did it! We beat the game. This is the bad ending, by the way.
Taha, the high priestess from the village of Lund, failed in her mission of sealing away the curse. The world of the living was further infested by spirits of the dead, who continued to spread misery throughout the world. Wah -wah. But that's okay! We got the achievement. We got the don't even try this achievement for beating it on insane. With only 308 deaths. Oh, am I happy about that. All right. We've got 20 minutes left of the stream before I start the next... Um, the next playthrough of this game, because I want to start it fresh on next week. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fight the boss that gives you the good ending. Which is actually the hardest boss in the game. Oops. There's a bunch of events you have to do to unlock her, but we have already unlocked her and here she is. Like my deceased sister, you pose a threat to the crown. I can't idle around when you do as you please. Pray your soul will go in peace. Archpriestess Quar. She is a fucking menace. And what you're supposed to do to get the good ending is you defeat her and then you beat the final boss. Um, and that gives you the good ending because what happens is uh, she actually will take over the queen. Um, and, you know, the curse will continue to spread. But if you take her out, you're actually able to seal it. goes her second phase. I'll have to look up Exposito after and see what it looks like. Because I'm curious now. Any game that has really good unique bosses always makes me hype. So we have more room to walk around. Those bubbles. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, none of the bosses in this game are really unsettling. If anything, some of them are too cute to kill. It was a very rude combo, but she is a very rude fucking boss. She is the fucking rudest boss. Damn it, she already put up the thing. Yeah, Fennel, favorite boss fight. Her, it's a good boss fight, but it's not my favorite. Yeah, really, the only, the heck is that boss is, um, the centipede girl at the beginning. The rest are just fucked up people. Two of them are priestesses that have basically lost their mind. Uh, another one is an arsonist who um, sort of went crazy. 
Oh, she's too far away. Could you not throw all this bullshit at me? Oh, oh, oh. Yep, I knew casting that spell would be a bad idea, but I did it anyway. I gotta use the twine, not the box, box blocks. The twine has a way shorter castings, period, and will still hit her and do enough damage. She's doing this pose. Games with good OSTs make me weak. Like, while a very different style of game, I own a hat in time on both vinyl and cassette because it's just that good of a fucking game soundtrack. It's amazing. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Go. Yeah, I do need to still beat Outer War or Outer Wilds. I always feel like I'm supposed to say Outer Worlds because. Damn it, I was hoping I could get over that hump. You know what? Maybe... Oh! <clears throat> Let me take a drink before I continue. I have... I've ordered the super special Valhalla uh, soundtrack on vinyl. The, like, seven uh, vinyl one. But it hasn't shown up yet. I'm so excited for it to show up, though. It looks so good. It's not the first print. I was too broke when the first print happened. It's the second printing, but it still looks awesome. Shit, I was too close. Nice. While not an amazing soundtrack, I actually have the first print of the Skyrim soundtrack. Alright, that was a stupid death. That's on me. That was a stupid death. Look, sometimes you ponder orbs, sometimes you take them straight to the face. Just depends on, you know, your intentions. Shit, I was too close. I'm getting worse at judging distance as the night goes on. Didn't mean to save. you and your orbs. Oh wow, we need to be really close for this to work. Oh, maybe it just doesn't work on her. I see. I 
Alright, phase two. Or just stand there. Oh, oh, hi, hi. You got to phase two in a very strange period. Okay, wow. That was different. Normally she waits until she's done doing her first attack to go into the phase two attacks, but she was like, nah, let's jump straight into it. How much does Max charge do to her? A good bit, the issue is, is when she puts up that shield, uh, the arrows can't penetrate to her and I can't like dash and stuff while charging. So it's tricky. I can only jump and walk, I can't roll. But yeah, here. Yeah, see, I can't do it right now because she has the shield up. I've got to wait till she takes it down. That's how much it does. Which I think in the same amount of time, I do more firing single shots. Like, it's good to charge here. But that, I think, is the only time. Damn it. I didn't roll in time. The half charge isn't worth it at all. It's full charge or nothing for this fight. The half charge is good for, like, C uh, CC, but it's not good for this. CC and big bosses are what the half charge is for. Oh, why are you getting so fucking close to me? Did you not? I've never seen her just chase me before. That's a new one. Fucking coming for that booty, apparently. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. We got her to the second phase. Yes! Oh. And now we have the bloodstained tissue. That right there is the item you need to get the good ending. Fabric drenched in the holy blood of Archpriestess Choir. Fearing the power of the crown, she clinged to the queen's side and worshipped her as a goddess. Unlike her older sister, Fennel remained loyal to her faith and resisted the queen. So, yeah. Archpriestess Choir and Fennel were sisters, or our sisters. And while Fennel tried to kill us for, um... Here, I'll show you. Ta-da! It's supposed to deal damage to enemies, but apparently this motherfucker was immune to it. But yeah. Alright. Four funsies. Uh, is this the closest I can get to the boss room? Maybe not for funsies. Can I not go straight to the boss room from here? Oh, maybe I can't. Never mind. Never mind. We'll just call it early a few minutes. <laughs> I was going to say for funsies, I'll try the boss one more time to see if I can get the good ending. But nah, y'all can look it up. Or wait for next week. Because uh, yeah, it's not there. But anyways, yes. So Fennel fights you because you're trying to defeat the queen. God damn it. Um, and, um, her sister choir fights you because, well, she worships the queen. So very similar methods, but very different paths. But yeah, the tissue was actually fennels. And when you... Um, 
you know, give it to her, she goes away in solidarity and basically snaps. It's a very, very cool. But with that, that is all we're doing for today. We have officially beat the game. We have officially beat every single boss without taking a single hit of damage during the boss fights, which is insane. Next week, um, we'll be playing this again. However, we're going to be playing a no hit mode or a no death mode. So instead of the death counter I have here, it'll be a reset counter of either how many times we've had to reset the game. Um, but I'm going to make a poll for that on Twitter and stuff like that on how that's going to work. But yeah, there's going to be more Momodora. We're going to do a whole another playthrough where I can't kill anything and I can't die. So 1cc, no killing, except for bosses, because you have to kill bosses. It's going to be rough. It might be rougher than this playthrough. I don't know. Honestly, I'm surprised we ended at 319. I expected it to be way higher. But regardless, that's next Thursday. More importantly, Saturday is going to be a collab between me, Tech, um, Sizzle, Misty, and Shiro. We're going to be playing a uh, prep night. So I hope to see y'all then. That's at 10 a.m. But for now, let's see who we can raid. Where's my raid button? There it is. Who is live? Chips is live. All right. Let's raid Chips. And I will see you all later. Love y'all. Night.